Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter, and yeah, it's that time again. It's another page in my collage book, or my glue book, or whatever we're calling it nowadays. I lost I lost the plot on trying to name things a long time ago, but it's where my collages go, and you really loved the last one I did, which was basically about me. Yeah, that's a little old me there. Well, that would last us, but that's a little old me, so you enjoyed that one, and thank you for all of the kind comments on that. So I was snipping some images from magazines and I came across one that I went, I can tell a story about that guy. And this image of this gentleman, um, where did I find this? I think this was in a wedding magazine, I think. But it immediately brought to mind images and a story. And I thought, you know, I can build a story around you. So I have no idea who he is. He's obviously a model of some sort. Um, yeah, I'm sure he's a model of some sort. But in my mind, I know exactly who he is. Um, and then I pulled some other things in that are a bit random. Found a sofa. I like a bit of furniture. Um, I found bags that I thought maybe he would use or utilise. Now, everything I'm showing you here may or may not be involved. Um, my local shop where I buy my, um, bought my fountain pen and I buy my paints and that, they have brown bags and the brown bags are called pen and paper or paper and pen which is the name of the shop and I liked it so I tore the bag to pieces and I've got these little bits as well so I, I just liked that colour scheme so those are potentially going to be in the background somewhere and um, what else did I find I found this which I don't know this this man sort of has the feel that he'd wear tweed in my mind um, I found this I thought maybe that might be a picture of him and his youth Climbing through nature, who knows? You know me, I'll, I'll make up something about almost anything. Um, I had all of these sort of sketches and they're all of the same colour palette. And I sort of thought, I can build a story out of all of this. Now, everything I'm showing you is obviously not all going to be included. Um, oh, there you go. There's some pieces of rice paper that I felt fell nicely within the theme I've got going. Um, a bit of nature, not sure about that, and a bit of map, I'm not sure about that. So let's just think backgrounds before I even start. Let's put some of this back over here. I think some of this is going to be an upper layer. Maybe some of these are going to be background. Not truly sure yet. Um, so anyway, I'll tell you what I think about this man, because I mean, you know me and the way my imagination flies all over the place, right? These are definitely going to be top elements. Um, I'm going to play around with putting the words to one side. I'm going to play around with just putting some of the edges up. And I'm fancying having the ragged edges on the, on the outside of this. So bear with me while I just play around with this and tell you what I think. So immediately when I saw this young man in, in this magazine picture, I thought, you know what? He looks like he's had kind of a privileged upbringing, I would say. Um, he's certainly not gone wanting, let's put it that way. Let's give this a bit more of a rough edge. Um, and I've got a feeling that this young man um, lives somewhere in the countryside. Um, he draws, he's an artist, he sketches, he does... I don't know, he just does things like that. I, just, I don't know, there's, there's something I can't quite pin down that I keep thinking, you know, he would do that, or he would do that, or he'd be involved in that. So, And I think that's the way this this is kind of going to develop. I'm going to save those pieces for as I move along with other pieces. And I'm actually thinking I want to break this up a bit. I've suddenly fallen into wanting to make a frame, and maybe I don't want to make a frame. Maybe I want just pieces, because maybe I want to bring in a part of this map. So... Get my tear ruler out of the way, or out and on the go, should I say? Um, so I don't know. There's just something. There's something in this image, and I do that a lot. I, I will find something that will just stimulate my imagination, and before I know it, I've kind of written a story about somebody. Um, obviously fictitious, because I have no idea who this person is, what their lifestyle was, anything about it. So. I think that's probably going to be roughly that. I think what I need to do is let me get a credit card or a plastic card for smoothing down anyway. I think I'm just going to put these pieces down. Now over here, I'm going to be using glue sticks and glue pages. Um, 
I don't, if I put them in slightly, maybe you can just see me on the edge of the shot, but it's not my intention to show you that. I focused in so hopefully you can see all of this happening, which is, in my opinion, the most important part of the process. So let's get some of this stuff down and we'll have a chat as we go along. So yes, so in my mind, this, this guy comes from a privileged background, private schooling, um, lives in a big house in the country, which maybe he's inherited it. Maybe that he's inherited it from his folks because unfortunately his folks are no longer with him. He he's an ornithologist. There you go. He's an ornithologist. He loves nature. He loves to sketch. He loves to draw. He's quite a private person. Um, I don't know, really. I mean, that's that's sort of where I'm at at the moment with this man's story. Um, I wanted that overlapping that, didn't I? Because I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to see bits of things coming through. I don't like that there, though. So let's just bring that up to about there. Let's smooth that down. So, so anyway, as we go along, we'll we'll uncover this gentleman's story as as we as we do our thing, as we piece this together. Um, I very often do this when I find an image um, because obviously I don't know the true story behind the photograph because a lot of the time when I clip images from a magazine, I clip the image. I don't necessarily clip the supporting story. So I don't even know whether there is a supporting story to this or whether it was just meant to be maybe a modelling shoot for a fashion line. Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you hide nor hair about this. I just know that the image caught my eye and I snipped it out, put it in my box of magazine snippets and went, you know, I will use that. And that's how I work with my collage stuff. So let's pop that in there. That gives me that corner. I'm just using glue stick on this because to be honest with you, it doesn't need, it's not going to be archivaled. It's, it's purely going to be for my own my own reference in the future, I will probably pull this out occasionally, take a look at, but it's not one of those things that's like a journal journal that's going to be under duress or it's, it's going to get damaged or anything at any point. So I'm not overly worried about it. And I've, I've not had a problem with Pritt Stick or Blue Stick in the past. I do tend to favour this brand, but that's just me personally. And a lot of that probably is because it's easily accessible to me. I think I want to change where that's at now. I think what they're over there. Um, it's easily accessible to me. Um, oh, I was glad I pulled out a new glue stick. And I can pick it up anywhere. Although I must admit, because the amount of glue stick I do go through, I now buy my glue sticks in boxes of 10 on the internet. And when you look at the price comparison, I probably save about a third of the price of a glue stick just by ordering them online. And what I do is um, some online places like Amazon, um, if you spend over a certain amount, you'll get free PMP or free postage and packaging. And I just take advantage of that. So if I'm close to having um, a full order and I just need a little bit to push me over the edge, I'll put in glue sticks. I'll just put in glue sticks. They're never going to be any harm. Okay, so I've got some foundations down there. Now I want some some kind of bigger pieces to fill in the back with. Now I'm going to save the rice paper because I think the rice paper is going to look best if it's overlaying other details. So I now need to play around with stuff. Um, now I kind of want to go with this sort of colour, not this colour, but I'm not going to dismiss it totally. I did like that actually. I have a feeling this might be close to where I'm putting him on the page. That's also quite nice. It's a bit empty space, isn't it? I like the sketchiness of that. A bit too colourful. That's a bit too... I don't know that. Right, I've already eliminated those and I don't know why I eliminated them, I just did. Um, I've got in my mind that I want to put this piece down first. Now I think I want to take off here. Sorry, I'm doing a Gail Augustinelli, I'm ripping the hell off a bird. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Gail. You know, 
no offence, but you do tend to rip the heads off things, legs off things, wings off things. Um, anyone who thinks I'm being really cruel to Gail, Gail and I are very, very old friends. We trust each other and love each other greatly and we're not going to be offended because that's just the way we are. Now, I want that on there. I do want that on there. And I had in mind that I wanted that on there because where's he gone? I had a feeling I liked the idea of him... I'm just going to cover up all of that map, aren't I? I'm not keen on things dead in the middle. Not dead, not that the bird's dead, but you know what I mean, dead centre. I think if I put it about there, so just past there, I think I can live with that. Um, this can be layers and layers and layers. You know, you know the way I build nowadays. Um, I think possibly this young man, gentleman, sort of lives the life that I'd probably like to live. I mean, I've had an incredibly interesting and, and varied life. Totally agree with that. Love it. Not a problem whatsoever. Um, however, I think deep down, I would love to have lived a life where maybe nature was more within reach, if that makes sense. Um, I like I like I like nature. I I like the fact that I could go out my front door and find it. I mean I'm I garden, you know I garden and I, I garden a lot. Um I don't have a huge garden, I only have a small garden. I'm gonna lay him there because I think that will help me decide other pieces that go around. Um I do garden, I only because I enjoy my garden. Um that doesn't feel like that belongs there. It feels like it belongs somewhere though. I think it belongs there. Um, I've only got a little garden. Um, I think for what I've got, I achieve quite a lot. Um, a lot of my plants are grown because I love my photography and I will use the plants that I'm growing. I will, well, I'll dry the flowers, I'll photograph the flowers, I'll use the leaves in my jelly printing i i do lots of stuff with it let's let's just leave it at that shall we right i think i'd quite like that down there now um i'm trying on purpose to stay within sort of a color palette Actually, if i put it there i'll line it up with there i think that'll be fine um sort of staying within a color palette because that's just what's speaking to me at the moment. I did pull out some other pieces to add to this, which I actually put back in my box of snippets afterwards because I went, mm, not really sure. Is that too modern? Is that not too modern? Um, however, you never know. I might dip into them later again anyway. I don't know. There's just something, something about this whole feel. I didn't want to distressing the edges either that was another consideration I thought oh I'll do distressing on them um, and that didn't it didn't work for me and I thought mm, maybe not maybe I'm just trying too hard with that okay that kind of works not sure I like the really nice sharp cut edges I wonder whether I can tear this without destroying it totally which I'm a bit renowned for destroying things with the ruler. Oh, there you go, I started doing it already. Um, what else is going on here? Um, it's a bit dull and overcast today. We were told we were going to have a mini heat wave this week, um, hotter than Spain. I can tell you if it's snowing in Spain, then we're hotter than Spain, but I, I can assure you we're not hotter than Spain. Uh, you can just look out my window and see that. It's one of those days where I woke up and went, Oh, this is sweater weather, isn't it? You need a good thick sweater on for going out in this weather. So, um, but you know, what? I'm not going to complain. I'm I'm not a lover of the heat anyway. So, if it was really hot and blistering and everything like that, I I really would be complaining. But this sort of weather, I'm okay with this. I'm definitely okay with this. 
Alright, I think I want it about there, so let's move you out of the way, young man. So let's move that down there. So as I said, this could be an image of when he was a youth growing up. It's not the most straight thing I've stuck down on there, but you know. So this is beginning to build a relative image. I want a piece down there, and funnily enough, I have a little piece that might just fit right in there. But we'll save that to one side. I've also got rice paper to go on. Now I'm sort of coming down to things like, is there enough bird on here? And I think there may be enough bird on here. I think I might save that for a top layer. I think that needs to go. Let's move those out of my eyesight or I'll keep being drawn to them. Um, I think I want to put a little bit more map into this. Um, and maybe just that little square there. Just to re-establish that corner there. So what have I been watching? I've been watching quite a bit of PM Artist Studio. Um, because obviously I love their products and they do some wonderful lives and I'm just really, I'm very, very much in love with that, that small company. So much so that you may have noticed there's a new playlist on my YouTube channel currently and I've decided, I do want to put down there, um, I've decided to do um, a playlist that's dedicated to me just working with um, their products. So I do purchase their products quite a lot. I thought I didn't want to replace my existing jelly plate play playlist with, um, I didn't want it taken over by PM Artist Studio. Although I did want to give them more exposure because I'm very passionate about supporting and helping um, where I can um, to help bring attention to new new talent, new companies. And so I'm a bit distracted because I really like that across there, but I'm going to end up killing the bird then, aren't I? I wonder if I can do it with a smaller one. Yeah, maybe that'll go there. Um, so yes, I decided I'm going to keep my original jelly plate play playlist because I really enjoy that and if if I got rid of that and just focused on PM Artist Studio then I wouldn't have the opportunity to play with other companies products or stuff that I do myself or new techniques or play um, so I reached out to them and said do you mind and they went no by all means we would love it if you actually did and I said fabulous because that's what I'm going to do anyway um, I'll put that up there, I think. So, so yes, yeah, so that's exciting. I I don't know when. Actually, I think I think it's already gone live. When this one's gone live, I've sort of lost track what is being launched when. In my little world, come on! I didn't stick you down yet. What are you doing? Um, in my little world, I haven't I haven't quite kept track of every single video of when it's going out, but I think. The first PM play, it's the new playlist is called Playtime PM Artist Studio. Yeah, I'm going to cut your legs off a little bit, buddy. I I think I want I want you to be a bit shorter. Sorry, but that's gone. Oh, did that hurt? I don't think it did. Um, so that's fine there. So yes, um, I wanted to promote them because I believe in them. I, I like their products, I like what they're doing, I like the direction they're going in. Well, that was kind of made for there, wasn't it? All right, that's going to go on there. Um, and I think it's exciting when you find a new company that's got something unique to add. Um, for those who are not aware, they actually make stencils, masks. They have um, an art supplies in their shop as well, but predominantly what I, I know them for and like about them is their uniqueness of their artistic skills and design work. And and I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I've already talked a huge amount in the video about, about it all and I think I'm, I'm just going to let it sit there. And on the word sit, where's that sofa gone? 
I actually quite liked this sofa. I don't know why. I don't know why I have to add a sofa to anything. Um, it just feels... It kind of feels the right thing to do. It's that whole layering thing. I want something there first, though. And I'm looking at this thinking, can I actually... I don't normally tear rice paper with a ruler, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Now, rice paper, this is Stamperia rice paper. Um, anyone who knows me knows that's pretty much my favourite brand of rice paper. Um, love their designs. Love, love the price range. I mean, I, I do find that it's it's not exorbitant for what I get. I do find that uh, it's not one of those products where you buy it and then you only use a fraction of it. Um, I tend to use every single piece of it. So, And I even have a box where I really, really save every last little bit of scraps. Now, I know I've got the words down period there. That doesn't bother me because I'm probably going to put something right over the top of that soon anyway. I do want that sofa in there. I have decided a decision has been made. So, um, what's going on in life here? Um, worryingly, Britain seems to have decided that the virus is finished with and it's all gone. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but world has... Britain has decided that, or at least the public has, and it's like, okay, guys, let's just... Hope you're making the right decision here. Um, I've decided I am going to go to Chicago for 4th of July weekend because there are certain friends of mine that I haven't seen for a very long time now due to the virus. And and I've had enough of waiting around. It's I, I want to go and see them. I, I, have, I miss my friends. Um, so it's time. So I'm going to be brave and I'm going to do everything I need. Now I'm wondering whether that's too much there or whether I do that. I think doing that in front of him might be better. I think it's time you went down Mr. Man. Now let's just see if I can do this without ripping his head off or something because magazine pages are notorious for tearing when I glue them. I think I get a little bit carried away and heavy-handed and I have ripped the arm off something before now. So. I can't remember what I was doing the other day, actually. I ripped, I did rip the head off something. I don't know what it was. Or was it a butterfly? I think I ripped the head off a butterfly. Something along those lines, anyway. Just pop that up there. Let's just smooth him down before... Oh, it's okay. I've committed to that now. That's why oh, you wrinkled. That's that's done and dusted. That's down. Loving that so far. It it has the right feel. And in fact, I'm now thinking this is probably almost Scotland. It is sort of for me. It's got a Scottish feel to it. What the heck that means to anyone else but me? I don't know. Right. I do think these bags are too much, but I think these bags by here somewhere. But, uh, we, we'll have to decide on those. Right, this, I love this, but it's not going in there. Uh, I do want this bit filled up here. And I keep looking at this rice paper thinking that um, some of this would work beautifully. And actually, I think that piece there, if I took that little scrap off there, would work beautifully up there. I don't know what it is about rice paper. I've always loved rice paper. Um, I wish I could print my own rice paper. And yes, I know you can buy rice paper and I know you can put it through your printer, but it never actually looks the same as, well, it doesn't look the same as Stamperia, I can absolutely assure you. Um, I, I don't, I, there's just something magical about rice paper. I just, I really enjoy using it, sir. So. Yeah, that was what I wanted. I want the layering thing to happen. I, I want to see stuff through stuff. Put that to one side because I will use that at some point. Right now, other things I want in here. I want to pull some of this in 
because it sort of feels right to do it, but I don't want it in big strips. I want it in smaller strips. Let's see if I can just pull that one off there because I've got a feeling I want that over there. I'm not a feeling I'm going to put that over there, so get that stuck down. That's one thing I wish I could do well. And I can't do well, I know I can't, and I have tried umpteen times. I wish I could sit down and sketch or draw. And the thing I'm drawing to end up looking like the thing it's supposed to look like. Um, I have tried many, many, many times to draw. Um, and I can draw. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously artistic on some level. I mean, I think anyone who does this or anyone who does anything that's creative in my mind is is an artist I think even in some of my coffee with Kerry's I've talked about that that the moment you decide you're going to create something I think that's the moment you become an artist and whether you agree or disagree with me because you don't think you're good enough I think the mere fact that you are doing it and you are being creative you are an artist now our perception of what an artist is, um, is what holds us back, I think, from thinking that we ourselves are artists. But I think anyone who creates is an artist on some level. The thing we stumble with is we all think we have to be Picasso. Never going to happen, people. I am never going to be Picasso. I'm going to be Kerry Griffiths, but I'm certainly not going to be Picasso. Um, I'm not going to be one of the greats. I'm not. But you know what? For me, and I, I speak purely from personal experience, for me, it's all about the journey. It's not about the end result. Um, I have some struggles sometimes mentally with things. Um, I have my doubts and my down days, and as we all do. However, um, if I can come in here and create something... It may not it may not solve the world's problems, but it, it solves some of mine. And I think if you just allow yourself to be absorbed in in the process of creating without worrying about what the end result is, I think that's a very important exercise to try and do. Do I want that all the way down there? I think I don't. Sorry, I had a quiet moment there. Um, that's one thing I don't think people actually appreciate when you do um, anything on on live video or on a video is you're trying to have a stream of consciousness that you're talking about that needs to be coherent and actually make sense. Also, you're trying to think ahead as to what you're going to say or do next. Plus, you're trying to create at the same time. I can tell you what, it knocks tapping your head and rubbing your belly at the same time right into a top hat. Okay, I am looking at that thinking I like that. Now, I'm not overly certain whether the bag works anymore. This, however, needs something here. The bag just doesn't feel right. Okay, the bag needs to go out a bit. Right. I saved the swans, and I really did like the swans, but again, I don't think they're going to go on there. Um, doesn't Do I need more map? No, there's plenty of map on here. Um, I do have this, but this is a bit too dark, and that's not, that's not right. I, I Don't ask me to explain it, it's just not right. Okay, I've got this tiny little bit that I'm just going to stick somewhere on this page where where I think a little something is needed. Actually, I might use it to just go over the top of the Stamperia branding there. And therefore I won't see the word Stamperia in the middle of my piece whenever I look at it. Okay, I have this piece, which I do like. But I'm unsure. Okay, now I did have a big version of paper, but as I got paper and pen there, I think these are too big. 
Um, not sure about that. I think it, it could benefit from brown, which I think I'm going to do that with this piece here. Just because this piece here, love all the detail in it. However, there's just something about it that's not quite working for me at the moment. And I think just doing that is enough to bring, bring the colour into balance and also to knock him a little bit back into the, into the background. Now, I've got this piece I keep waving around and I think I shouldn't use it because I've got enough groups of these alphabets on here. It feels like I'm trying to force an issue. What goes here though? Okay, none of this is going to go on there. I think we're done with the brown. So what would I put on this page? So this guy is a privileged guy. He went to private school. He's about the countryside. He likes, he lives in Scotland. He likes books. He likes recording nature. I wonder, bear with me a second. Bring in my ephemera book and see if there's anything in here that jumps out at me. Um, a few of you have asked whether I would share how I made this ephemera book. Um, I need to think about that because I don't really know how I would go about doing it and filming at the same time. Uh, it's just, it might be a little difficult for me. But I'd rather not put butterflies on here, to be honest. I wonder, let's, let's just move this over a minute. Wondering with a label down there. Mm, possibility, but it's not it's not singing to me, let's say that. And I've lost everything now. Right. Um now we do have ornithology things as in eggs. I wonder whether eggs would work on here. They kind of would. Let me just have a little a little think about this. I mean, I could bring in... Eggs would definitely be in the right theme. I'm not sure these are the right eggs, though. I don't mind that colour. Um, these eggs were basically from an... Um, oh, I can't remember what sort of book it is like a Reader's Digest egg book that I found. And it was about identifying different eggs. If I've got one egg on there, I'm going to need more than one egg on there. And that's now actually, I think that's the wrong colour looking at it. But I'm not, I'm not unhappy with the idea of eggs. I want something that's not overly dominating. No, this doesn't feel like an egg place. Let's bring this back in so you can see what I'm looking at. Right, I've got some of these which I've done, but I think again these are going to look a little bit large for and too colourful I think. Okay, I've got these. These are stamped elements by Mackie Stamps. M A A K I. M A K I Stamps. They're based in, I think it's Berlin, Germany, somewhere like that. And actually, I'm wondering whether a little bit of naturey type stuff may not be what this is requiring. It's actually, it's a bit random that there's just a bunch of mushrooms in there. Um, that doesn't feel right either. Oh, quandary time, guys. We're having a quandary. Right. Oh, I know. Look, we've, we've got birds. I've forgotten all about birds. Right, so let's just flip past and see if there's anything else past here. This, all right, I'm low on those. Right, so we've got birds. Let's pull out. 
got ducks. There's already ducks in, in this thing, so. Birds, birds, let's pull out some more birds. And I do have feathers. I wonder whether feathers would actually be something as well. I hadn't thought about feathers. I don't think I've used these since I bought them. I, 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 I bought them on an, on a whim. You know, when you're flicking through and you're going, oh, I could just buy some of this and just buy some of that. And I bought several things like that. And I'm thinking feathers might be what I'm looking for, actually. I'm sure I'll get all of the feathers out of this holder. Right, let's put the birds to one side because there are birds all over the place. Now that matches that colour, which is quite nice. So that would be nice. I think we could put some feathers on here. Right, let me just put the put the folder by just so that I can gain the space I was working in. Um, I just need to put these to one side so I can actually just see them. Right, these might just be the subtle hint of something I'm looking to tickle stuff up. Well, that's a very faint one. That's going to be lost. I do like that one, though. <laughs> They're clear stamps. I can't see where they are. Uh, clear stickers. I can't see where they are. Right. OK, let's clear those off there. Right. I like this one, and I like it's got that, and that means that I would probably balance it somewhere up there. Let's just leave that one sat there a bit. Um, this still looks too big for me to add something to it. it it's... Maybe it needs a label. I do like that feather though. It has to be over this side. Why don't I just stick this sucker down? Well, black acrylic paint on my nails. That's a good sign, isn't it? Everyone will think I haven't cleaned my nails. I have. Let's just press that one down. Right. I don't mind having feathers on here, but I don't think feathers is right for there. So I'm going to put a few of them in because I've not used them so far and I like the thought of them. I like that one too. That one can go there. Oh, look at that. I'm getting the backs off labels. Mind you, the plastic ones are a lot easier than the washy ones. So that's down there. And I obviously want one more around here somewhere. Let's see if I can find one that's kind of working for me. Is that a bit too straight? Looks much like a quill to me. Not sure. I feel it's just something that's just been stuck there. Right, before I get too tied up with that, let's get myself a clean page for gluing. Let's have a little bit of a look and see if there's Anything that sits itself in here really nicely. I think there was a time when I used to know the names of all of these. He looks like he's just weird. Hmm, it's not doing it for me. Right. Let's pull in some labels. Let's have a look and see what I've got in the offing here. Yeah, I so want to avoid going down the butterfly route. OK, these might work, actually, thinking about this, because these are field notes, aren't they? And field notes, if this guy is out and about, that would make sense. Let's just sit that one there a second. Let's pull in some of these larger ones. Um, these are Tracy Fox labels, by the way. Um, they're a digital download. And uh, I did used to print them onto label paper. But anyone who knows me knows I've got an absolute nightmare of getting things off label paper. So I tend to print them on just regular paper now or 
card stock and then I just cut them out. That's not bad. I like the ones with the handwriting on like like this one because it sort of feels like his notes. Like something like that. Um, if you've not heard, of, sorry, I went quiet because I'm thinking. If you've not heard of Tracy Fox, by the way, um, her Etsy store, I believe, is called Love Junk Journals. I'm sure it's still called that. And and she has some absolutely incredible digitals on there. Love her work, love her style. Love most things about her, really. So, Tracy, if you do get to see this, hi, Trace. Um, Tracy, feel free to add any of the links you want to any of your products in my comments absolutely go for it because I'm more than happy to promote let's see I think I'm getting to the point where it's just a case of committing to something now right let's commit to a few things I like this here so let's let's stick him down I'm not going to distress ink the edges because the edges are already distressed. So I'm going to put that on there. Where's my smoothie out thingy? That's a technical term, obviously, smoothie out thingy. Um, I quite like the idea of a second label. So I think this is going to be one of those that I'm not going to know it's finished until it's finished. And please don't explain it. Let make me explain that because I'm not going to be able to explain that. Right. This needs a something. It needs something to connect it to other things, because at the moment it's just a block right in the middle. And I think I like that over that side. Put you down there. Is that straight? Probably not, knowing me. Um, I don't know which one of these I like best, actually. Field Notes really pops out, but Field Notebook... Actually, Field Notes pops out a lot better for me. Um, I've had a f quite a few comments saying, how do you know which pieces to put down? Um, I do collage by my gut and gut feeling or instincts. However, I do think the longer you do something, the easier it is to snatch a decision out of the air. Um, I tend to not second guess myself as much if it's, if it's a familiar process. And I do collage quite a bit, and I have collaged for quite a long time. Um, and I think you just, you build up an eye. You, you see things slightly differently. And I think that's, that's where it comes from. Right. I want something there, but I don't know that I want that there. It's just I've got some shaped ones here. That's quite a nice one. I've already pulled up. <laughs> Shows I like it. I pulled it out twice. Right. I feel this just needs something. Because, right, these are not stuck down. Let's take them off the page so I know I'm not distracting myself. Um, that one. So when you reckon this was all started with just this one magazine image, this one person in there, and it spoke to me, it gave me a story, um, it gave me a reason for things to be on the page. And I find for myself when I'm creating something, 
even if it's an abstract something, there does need to be a reason for something to be on a page. Um, otherwise, it just eats away at me and I'm like, well, I don't know why I put that on there. Why did I put that down there? And, and it makes me doubt myself. And then before I know it, I'm down that rabbit hole of procrastination that, that I, I just grind to a halt. Um, seems to be one too many. There needs something there, but I don't know what it is. But I do like this bit of a label. That might just go up there. I'm wondering whether... I wonder. I'm going to stick that one down. I just need to give this a little bit of a thought, right? I think I don't want to do more labels because if I do, I'm going to be in danger of doing overkill here. Because, because I can go a bit overkill on the labels. Right, I did have my own labels somewhere, ones that I created. I'm wondering whether there's just one of those because my label would be in a different style. Well, there they are, I think. My labels would be in a different style to Tracy's. I feel that that's just, I think it needs something, but I don't know what it needs. I wonder whether it needs a flower. Let's have a look. It, does, it doesn't need one of these labels, let's put it that, that way. Um, maybe it needs a bird. Possibly, but it's a bit light. Looks like it's broken its wing. What's it standing on? That looks like that duck. That's just wrong. No. What about you? Don't mind it. I think I want to cut the neck a little bit closer because it looks like there was once upon a time a little bird behind that bird or another duck and I can see part of its beak. So I think I need to do a slight bit of an operation if I can get this off without doing too much damage. I think I can live with the bit on the back. But I think I want to distress the, this bit, so I'm just going to use some vintage photo just to knock that white border back into the background. And I think we're going to add our little quackers friend. I think if he's just going across there, he'll unite, unite those two labels, which would be quite nice. Okay, that's a good move there. Now, do I think this is finished? This is looking like a bit of a bland space, but is that me just trying to cover something up? Um, it's quite busy, but I like quite busy. Maybe, maybe this is where I need to put a feather or two. Isn't it funny? I know I want I want something, but I can't. I'll only know it when I see it. Is what I'm trying to get at. Um, I keep being drawn back to this bird, and maybe he is right there. I think he might be right there. Um, I'm only saying that because um, by putting something in front of him, it means that it it gives almost oh, ripped his leg off. Oh no, his little foot came off. Um, no, it didn't work. 
I've broken that one and I can't use it now. Sorry, that's just the way my brain works. If, if I've ruined something, it gets ruined. Um, I wonder, pulling back this bit of rice paper. Actually, I know, bear with me a second. Okay, I have this bit of rice paper. In fact, I've got two pieces of the same because it's one of my favorite pieces of rice paper. And I'm thinking, if I can open this with my sticky fingers. Come on. I've got so much glue on my fingers, my fingers have turned black now. And I would like to take something like this piece here, or even that piece there. Let's put that to one side. So. Let's play around with this. I don't mind that. Let's see if I can tear this. I don't want to cut it because I don't want an ultra sharp edge. This may be the wrong piece. I mean, I this piece caught my eye up here, but this, this piece down here may work equally as well. you up there a second. Right, so I wouldn't want that strip down the side. No, that's not the right one. I think I need to go with my original instinct, which is this one here. This um, is another Stamperia rice paper, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. It was on the label of the packaging. Yeah, I think that's what it needs. I just want to give that top edge a little bit of a tear so it's not such a straight line right across the top. bit off there. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted. Right, let's just stick that down before I talk myself out of it yet again. And let's see if there's anything, what else, what else, anything else that I think this picture needs. Oh, I really made a mess of that, didn't I? Thank goodness you can pick up and reposition rice paper. Right, where's my smoothing out card? I think that's about enough. Well, I think it's about enough. It's probably too much, to be honest with you. But I'm quite liking that. I am quite liking that. That's That works. And I like... When I do collage, I want to be drawn into it. I want, I want to explore what I see. Um, I want to think that when someone looks at a piece I've created, it will make them stop and look in and question and wonder, why did you put that in there? And what's the relationship between that, that and that? Why is there a sofa in there? Why is there a sofa in there? Um, it's... it's it's the questioning, and I like the questioning. Part of me wants to cover up this part of a wing here. Actually, I wonder. I just... Would that be too much, do you think? Maybe if I just tore it down a little bit further. Oh, looks like the sun is coming out. I'll just tear this down a little bit more. I wouldn't mind something there. And as it's rice paper, everything behind it will show through it. Or everything behind it should show through it. Yes, I like that. Let's put that down there. And then I think I, I'm on the certain we're done.
I mean, part of me wants to come in and stamp text over the top and do stuff like that, but I think that would just be a touch of overkill. Yes, that works for me. And I like the fact that that's gone across his sleeve. That was a choice. That wasn't a mistake. I think we can call that done. Let me just have a quick look at the little pieces I pulled off and see whether I'd want to put them anywhere. That might work down there, actually. Sticky, sticky, sticky. And the reason I'm putting this down here is it just felt like the torn edge was just a bit too torn. And I like that. It's, it kind of squared it off without making it too square. Um, the little scraps like this I will keep for other things. But I think I'm going to call this done. So thank you, Mr. Man, whoever you are. You inspired this whole page. Um, I don't know that it made a coherent story to anyone else, but I know when I look at this, I will see a backstory about him growing up in Scotland in a privileged area. His parents have passed, unfortunately. He went to private school. He now lives in an idyllic um, house in the Highlands. Um, he loves his home comforts. He's an ornithologist and a naturist in that he will actually record nature and sketch it and explore. He likes languages. He likes the use of handwriting. He likes paper and pen. I mean, that's all that this is going to be about. So, so yes, I like that. That's a good one. I'm, I enjoy doing that one. Thank you for being on the journey with me for that one. So I think until next time, I think that's it. So all that's left is for me to say goodbye. So I'm Kerry the Crafter. That's C-E-R-I, the Crafter. Until next time. Bye-bye now.